Hey guys, Sean here. Man, I have cabin fever, and it sucks. <laughs> so I figured I'd come out of the shop. We've had nothing but snow off and on for what seems like ever. Uh, I'll take you outside so you can see it here in a little bit, but I'm going to show you a couple projects I'm working on. Um, my brother-in-law, or ex-brother-in-law, like those speakers uh, made, so he wants me to build him four of them for his shop. Now he's got that old school... Uh, separate amp with a dedicated receiver. Uh, the thing cranks out a lot of power. You know, it's a couple hundred watts per channel. So uh, when I brought my speakers down there, they just sounded phenomenal down there. And he likes to crank it up, so we'll see what happens. But um, after after these get all broke in down in the shop, I'll see if I can uh, talk him into a couple subs or something like that. He's not a real big bass head, but he does like good clean music. So um, Here's the uh, cheap terminal cups. Good enough for a shop speaker. These are my uh, crossovers. I like to mount them on little MDF boards. That way I can just hot glue them in place. Free wire them. And I still got to make the uh, cables for the uh, six and a halves, which will attach here. Um, but Dayton offers uh, a couple different sets of pre made crossovers. Um, and I've built crossovers in years. I don't even know where my chart is at to do it. So for me, it's just easier just to buy them. Um, so, their other version is mounted on a big blue board, um, and it's cool because you can switch four or eight ohm woofers, which is great. Um, but they're also like 25 26 bucks or something like that, so I think I paid like $8 a piece for these, so I saved myself you know, a little bit of money. Um, crossover point is 2.5K, 12 dB. These are the uh, six and a half inch woofers, and again, the Silky Soft Drone Cooler by Gaten Audio. Um, now, I'm working on a project for a buddy of mine. Uh, I picked up one of these Tang Band 6.5 inch subs. Uh, a lot of people love these things. There's guys that are running like four of these for their home theater. And they're just pounding the hell out of everything. So, um, I think I'm going to put it in a half a cubic foot box with maybe a 2 or 3 inch port. We'll tune it to. Uh, Whatever it's F3 is, I'll have to look that up again. But, uh, it's a pretty beefy driver. It's got a good excursion. Uh, bump, bump back plate, vented pole piece. Um, yeah, so kind of excited about this. And then I picked up this little uh, Lapai LP210 PA 2.1 plate amplifier. Um, at the time, I couldn't find... The Bluetooth amp that I wanted. Um, now I see that it's readily available because it's sold out. So I may end up switching this out to a 2.1 Bluetooth uh, unit. Uh, but it's got speakers out, sub out, which is on the back side of the board, the little blue clip there. Uh, but it's got your sub volume, crossover point, and then your main speaker volume. Which is cool, because uh, once it's set, it's set, then you can control the volume on your phone, but because it's not Bluetooth, then you got to have it connected uh, via an 8-inch jack, blah, blah, blah. Um, so, I still need to find a power supply for this, so if anybody's got a, well, I'll say a 19 to 20 volt, or 18, or even 15 to 20 volt power supply, like off a old laptop or whatever, um, I can get adapters for that plug, so that's not too big of a deal. Um, but that would be cool too, so maybe we can work a trade or something. But yeah, and then I've got, uh, let's see here, I've got these new old school uh, Pioneer 3 ways. It'll probably run with it. I don't know yet. Maybe I'll run some of those Poly 6.5s and, and a small tweeter or something like that. Um, but i got to get that done. So, And I've been looking on mobile solutions because uh, I'm going to be redoing my subwoofer cabinets because my cat likes my subs and he wrecked one clawed the hell out of it so I was sitting there rocking out one one Friday on my day off and I was like what what happened to all that low end and I just didn't really think much of it so then when I built my little uh, plate amplifier racks uh, I tore everything apart and I flipped one of the subs over and I could see that uh, there was a bunch of claw marks on the rubber surround and uh, pressed on one and of course it was ripped so you gotta build some new sub cabinets, something the uh, cat can't get to. <laughs> it's kind of comical though, because he uh, he sits there, you know, like when there's 
know, a base sweep or a base drop or something like that. He'll run right up to the sub cabinet, put his head in the port, and then he just lays there like he really enjoys it. He's massaging him or something. But anyway, let's go outside. It's cold. Well, I can't really say cold. It's more windy than cold. But man, we have a butt ton of snow. Literally. Yeah, look at that pile. The whole yard is like that. It's crazy. So back here behind the garage, I'm not going to go over there, but there's a good three feet of snow back there. Easy three feet. And the snow banks are probably six feet, maybe seven feet tall. It's just stupid. So the dog sure loves it. <laughs> but uh, anyway, guys, I'm going to go back in, throw some more wood in the fire, and uh, putz around. All right, take care. Talk to you later.